<clears throat> this is indeed a great country. And this great country of ours faces real challenges and incredible opportunity. And the decisions that we take now directly affect our people today and for the future. And I believe passionately that our prospects can be so very bright. When all is said and, and done, politics in the end is about choices, and good politics is about making the right choices. Today, for the third time in four years, you present your choice for Taoiseach. For the third time, you rearrange the cabinet deck chairs. For the third time in four years, you pat each other on the back and tell the people what a great job you're doing. The narrative we hear today from government is a fairy tale so outrageous that Hans Christian Andersen himself would be proud of it. Yeah. Yeah. For people to believe the spin from the government benches, they would have to suspend all connection with reality and lose any memory of people's lived experiences. Because on the things that really matter to workers and families, you have comprehensively failed, and no amount of bragging or bluster will disguise that fact. A housing crisis, a health service that's crumbling, a cost of living crisis that pushes households to the brink. That's the reality. So you will forgive us, gentlemen, when people don't buy the fiction that you're spinning today. Don't buy a story that dresses up failure as progress. Hall Martin, you recall, said this government would be the government to fix housing, but it got worse. Then Leo Varadkar came along. He said he'd sort out housing, and it got worse again. And now we hear Simon Harris say he will fix housing once and for all. And frankly, the people brace themselves. So here we go again. And you pass the parcel with the keys to the Taoiseach's office one more time. But let's be very clear about what's happening today. This isn't about what's good for Ireland. This isn't about what's good for the people. It's about what's good for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's your century-old cosy club circling the wagons once again to cling to power at all costs. I believe the people of Ireland deserve so much better because this is a country full of talent, ideas and, yes, optimism. The people of Ireland have achieved incredible things, often against the odds. And the Irish people deserve an Ireland where opportunity and prosperity are open to everyone. An Ireland where everybody gets a fair go and nobody is left behind. And they deserve a government that matches this ambition. Now, you say that you want Simon Harris to be Taoiseach. If you really believe that, if you believe that your government has the support of the people, then you should go before the people and get that mandate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the reality is that the people must decide who leads. And you should call a general election. That's the reality of it. <coughs> Third time round, and with the benefit of hard experience, we can state very clearly what another Fine Gael Taoiseach and the continuation of this government will mean. It means the housing emergency and the scandal of homelessness will continue. The crisis in our hospitals, trolley counts, waiting lists will continue. Households under huge pressure just to get by. It means more of the same. That is what Deputy Harris offers and represents, more of the same. He sat at Cabinet for eight years, presiding over the very policies that have seen a collapse in home ownership, skyrocketing rents, and our health service brought to its knees. Much has been said so far from the government benches about Deputy Harris, but it's interesting to note what hasn't been said and what has been conveniently forgotten. You see, not so long ago, Simon Harris was the Minister for Health. And on his watch, hospital overcrowding spun out of control, the trolley crisis escalated, and treatment waiting lists hit one million patients for the very first time. On his watch, 
the scandalous cost of the National Children's Hospital grew and grew again. And today, the most expensive hospital in the world has yet to open its doors and has yet to treat a single child. But perhaps those who remember Deputy Harris's term as Health Minister best are the families of children with scoliosis, who were promised that they would not wait longer than four months for life-changing surgery, a promise that was disgracefully broken again and again. Fianna Fáil refused to vote confidence in Simon Harris as Minister for Health in 2020. It caused uh, an election, if you all recall. Today, they dutifully line up to vote him in as Taoiseach, joined at the hip by a group of independent TDs. Now, out there in the real world, the experience is that you fail. If you fail and fail again, you get your P45. However, in the world of this government, Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael and the Greens, it seems you can fail your way right to the very, very top. Since Simon Harris became Fine Gael leader, he's been telling people, we've got your back. This is said without a hint of irony, and it seems with not, not, no idea of just how hollow it rings. For adults, young adults forced to live in the box room of their parents' house into their 30s. For the mother and father at their wit's end battling for services for their child, for disability services, for mental health care. For the elderly man or woman who's worked hard all their life only to suffer the indignity of lying on a hospital trolley for days. For the stressed out couple watching every euro and deciding which bill to leave unpaid this month. Fine Gael have now been in power for 13 years and for 13 years you have shown us time and again whose backs you've got. Fine Gael has the backs of the vulture funds. Fine Gael has the backs of the rack renting corporate landlords. Fine Gael has the backs of the financial speculators and those at the top. That is the Fine Gael way. And today you propose more of the same. Today is proof positive that we need change like never before. We need a new direction. We need a new government that will put workers, families and community first. A new government with the determination to roll up its sleeves and get the work done to improve the lives of ordinary people. That's why we need a general election. Here, here. Because a better future is possible. A future where you can have a secure, affordable home, where you can see a doctor quickly when you're sick and access proper hospital care if you need it. A future where life is affordable, where your job provides a decent living and when you, where you can retire at 65 with your pension. A future where our young people get the chance they deserve at home, where they're not forced to emigrate for opportunity, where they can build a good and prosperous life here with their family and friends. That's what change looks like. That's the change that people want. That's the change we need. Our future can be defined by equality, prosperity, opportunity, by building a strong, modern, vibrant all-Ireland economy, by achieving energy independence and security, by the reunification of our country. None of this is beyond us. All of this is possible. All of this can be achieved, but it will not be achieved with Simon Harris as Taoiseach, and it will not be achieved by this directionless government staggering on for another year with no objective other than to stay in power. To Simon Harris Marin Gaina Lishan May the Hui River, An Rud Dernok Todd Tastalagdini not Tishak Ella O Inagale, To Gergo the old Tauhan Anish, To Real Tis New at Tastal Uan, To Ahru at Tastal Uan. Another Finnegale Tishak is the last thing that people need. We need a change of leadership. We need a change of government, and the people must have their say. They should decide who forms the next government. So the trip that will be made to, this afternoon to the Oris shouldn't be to seek appointment as Taoiseach. It should be to ask President Higgins to dissolve this stall and call a general election. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.